Hello, everybody. This is the marketing automation discussion, which we now advise not to listen to right before bed. We aim to provide detailed, actionable steps to achieve quality marketing and sales automation at scale. I'm your host, Alex Glenn, and today I have with me Alexander. I'll pull up his LinkedIn profile. He's the CEO of CodingNinjas.co a platform I have used and loved for years and actually built, I think I'm on my fifth pretty large project with Coding Ninjas. I love the support. I love the interface. I love how they have everything set up. So definitely check them out. Alex, welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having me on the show, Alex. I'm very excited to share this example with your listeners. And today it's all about intercom, the chat tool, which we believe is more than just a chat tool. We use it for automations, for lead captures as more of a front end CRM than anything. We will discuss how intercom can work in your marketing and sales automation when your goal is to treat eager and qualified traffic on your site with urgency, as opposed to pushing them into a simple demo request form, which can kill your conversions and push away valuable potential sales. Uh, we harp on this idea of a one-to-one -one experience and Intercom allows us to do that. We'll show the specific examples on what we're recommending you use Intercom for, which is more than just chat. And it has a great UI, great UX, and allows you to create that one-to-one -one experience for the users. As always, we like to choose two or three core questions to answer on each episode. Today's core questions are what's the best marketing automation tool for B2B lead generation. And number two, what is a good marketing automation tool to achieve my goals? We're going to be a little lazy about this and answer them both with the same exact answer. The short answer is Intercom. Alexander, let's go ahead and talk about the tool in question, Intercom. Why do you use it? What do you recommend? Let's dig into this specific funnel. Sure, Alex. Currently, our customers cannot register in coding in just the code without talking to someone from our team. All they can do is chat to someone or schedule a demo. So it's very important for our funnel to qualify this traffic as much as possible prior to the chat or demo. Also, when the customer comes to our website to find a developer, usually they are exploring many options at the same time as they're usually behind their deadline. So for us, it's crucial to catch them right away and start the conversation, schedule a call or answer any questions they have. This is opposite to the uh, traditional channels that you see most often, mainly on SaaS product websites, where there is a demo request button or a medium SaaS form. The, the reason they do this, so the sales reps can qualify leads and prioritize who they want to talk to, who they want to reach to after they come to the work next day. In our experience, you can get a much better conversion when allowing customer to talk to someone prior to they can make a decision to schedule them or not. So for this, we use Intercom, of course, uh, to, to power this leads capture flow on the website. Then we schedule calls with HubSpot and track emails with, with a mail check. All right. So for those of you listening, not viewing, I'm showing a page on codingninjas.co. I'll link it in the show notes. Uh, it's got a lead capture flow. Let me move my picture here. It shows fill out the form to get a quote at the top. It shows a progress bar with four steps. The first one highlighted. The first question is what exactly are you looking for with four options with icons? A one-off project, full-time developer, fixes, and I'm an agency in need of ongoing support. So I go ahead and click one of those. And I see the second option, which is how soon do you want us to start now? One week, one month, I don't know. Meanwhile, on the right is a logo alignment of all the companies he's worked with or Coding Ninjas has worked with and Trustpilot with a couple of reviews, a Trustpilot widget. That's great for not only SEO, but what he's doing is reinforcing credibility throughout this funnel, which is a whole nother discussion, but I just wanted to point that out. Now, step three is my lead capture form. Very simple, just name and email. And keep in mind, I've answered two questions prior to this, which would be traditional fields in a demo request form. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to enter my email and I'm gonna enter a project description. I need to start now, major. And when I submit that, immediately the intercom widget opens up. The intercom widget starts the conversation with whatever I put in that description box. So what's happened now is I'm in Intercom, I'm in his CRM, which I believe is HubSpot, and the next available rep has been notified that I'm in the funnel getting ready to chat. What I see on the page 
is an embedded HubSpot calendar choice window. Uh, you can use Calendly for this, you can use Acuity for this, uh, but what it will do is allow you to chat about your project if you want to chat. But if you know you need Coding Ninjas and you're sold already, uh, or at least you know you want a demo, they give you the ability to schedule a demo. So this is an awesome page. I can do everything I need to do as a customer, get my questions answered, or go ahead and book a demo. And I let them know already that I was going to be testing this so they're not jumping into the chat as they should. But uh, real quick, what is MailTrack? MailTrack is the software that tracks emails that you send out. You can see how many people open the email, who open the email, and how many people click the link. Even though HubSpot is also able to do this, but MailTrack is much better, so we pay extra money for that. Got it. Similar to Yesware, I believe, is one of their competitors. Um, great. Uh, now, to give some people some steps, uh, if they'd like to go ahead and use the same funnel on their site, uh, what are maybe the first steps to get them going? If you don't have a developer yet, go to codingninjas.co and get one. If you ha do have a developer, just show this episode to your developer. Of course, you have to go to Intercom. There's a hack. Go to page of Intercom for startups. You get, you get a much better price for the first year. Then, of course, it's important to sync your, your Intercom with a CRM so all the information is mirrored. All this is done via the APIs of both Intercom and the CRM that you will use. Uh, we use, as I said, we use HubSpot. Also, we send the message from the form to Intercom, the message that the, the customer writes in the form to the Intercom, so the person in our team can see what is the customer looking for right away and start the conversation. All right, so thank you for that, Alec. If you're going to build this out for yourself, you're going to need development. So check out codingninjas.co, get a quote from them, and I assure you it's going to be your best option for this specific funnel. Also, you're going to need an Intercom account. So go to intercom.com forward slash early dash stage to apply for their $49 a month program. You should qualify if you're not making a ton of money. And finally, you're going to need a CRM. So I recommend two salesseek.com. The advantages there besides some of the UI that they do a little bit differently is the native integration with intercom. If you're going to leverage intercom heavily, check out salesseek.com. Also check out agilecrm.com for other reasons. The marketing automation side is very robust on agile. And if you do use Salesforce, there is an integration built out in intercom. So you can push the leads into Salesforce. But again, Salesforce is more for enterprise use cases. So if you're not an enterprise customer, check out agile. Alexander, thank you so much for walking us through this and being a part of the show. I look forward to working on future projects with you. And I've got a new one, I believe. Curran and I are going to start pretty short Shortly, so look out for that and I hope you can be a part of it. Otherwise, I'll talk to you again soon and let's try to record again soon. Thank you for having me, Alex. I appreciate you letting me be a part of this episode and I hope everything was very available to your listeners. If anyone has any questions about this type of funnel build, please reach out to Alex who can help you get started on our platform. And here's Alex's uh, LinkedIn profile if you want to go ahead and connect with him. And we'll talk again soon. Alex, have a great rest of the evening and enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Have a great day, Alex. You too.